Hello, how are you? In this video we will see why is math log underscore two three math considered a transcendental number. And I welcome you to the question answer channel, the channel where you will find the answer to everything. Thanks to Phil Scovis, Brian Lewis, Yongquan Tejang and Tom McFarlane for their answers to this question. We'll start with Phil Scovis's first answer. A transcendental number is a number that is not the zero of any polynomial with integer coefficients. A number which is the zero of some polynomial with integer coefficients is called algebraic. The Gelfond's Kanida theorem can be used to prove that math log underscore two three math is transcendental. The GS theorem says that if math a math and math b math are algebraic numbers not equal to math zero math or math one math and math b math is not rational, then math a caret b math is transcendental. The contrapositive is that if math a caret b math is algebraic, then either math a math is transcendental, math b math is transcendental, math a math is zero or one. Math B math is 0 or 1, or math B math is rational. Here you go, let math x equals log underscore 2, 3, math. Then math 2 carat x equals 3, math. Note that math 2 carat x, math is algebraic, it equals math 3, math. So here are the possibilities. Math 2 math is transcendental, nope. Math 2 math equals 0 or 1, definitely not. Math x math equals 0 or 1, easily checked, no. Math x math is rational. Suppose that math log underscore 2, 3, math were rational. Then math log underscore 2, 3 equals p, q, math for some integers, math, p, math, and math, q, math. A little algebra leads to math 2 carat p equals 3 carat q, math, which is impossible. Math 2 carat p, math must be even, and math 3 carat q, math must be odd. Math x, math is transcendental is the only remaining option. The following answer is from Brian Lewis. Yes, algebraic numbers are those that are roots of polynomials with integer coefficients. Since a polynomial is always of finite degree it can have only finitely many roots. It's easy to see from that that the set of all algebraics is the countable union of countable sets, which is countable. B. What do you think? We will continue with Yongquan Ted Zhang's answer. Yes. One rather easy way to see this is by noting that if a number is transcendental, then so is its negative. This statement holds not only for the real field over the rational field, but also for any field extension that contains a transcendental number. Then the sum of this two will be zero, which is not transcendental. What do you think? We will continue with Tom McFarlane's answer. A transcendental number multiplied by a non-zero algebraic number will always be a transcendental number. To see this, suppose E equals B, where R and B are algebraic. Then A equals B, A, which is a contradiction since the ratio of two algebraic numbers is always algebraic. A transcendental number multiplied by another transcendental number may or may not be transcendental. For example, A, 1, A equals 1 shows that two transcendental numbers can be multiplied to obtain an integer. This is the end of the video, thank you for staying until the end. Thank you for watching this video, if you like it more, you can subscribe and leave a like on this video. We are coming to the end of this video, you can continue the debate on this question in the comments with the community. See you soon.